probably already see today's story or version of Jack and the Beanstalk is quite different. We have Mickey and the Beanstalk. I like this one. I hope you do too. Have a great day and see which story you prefer out of the three you've heard this week. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> Once upon a time, a long time ago, there was a place called Happy Valley. It was a beautiful spot with lush fields and prosperous farms. High above the green valley stood a shining castle where a magical singing harp lived. This golden harp had an enchanted voice and when she sang, she cast a wondrous spell of peace and joy over the valley. One day, something terrible happened. A mysterious shadow crept over the valley. When the shadow lifted, the golden harp was gone. Without the enchantment of the harp, Happy Valley was no longer happy. Everything dried up and everyone became miserable. Days passed, weeks passed and things only got worse. In a small run-down cabin lived three farmers. They were three very hungry farmers for their crops did not grow. They had no money and no food, only an old cow. The farmer's names were Mickey, Goofy and Donald. They sat down to share their last meal, one slice of bread and one single bean. Hey fellas, Mickey eagerly cried, I know, let's sell the, sell the cow and buy something to eat. It was a good idea, so Mickey took the cow into town. Donald and Goofy waited dreaming of hot, delicious food. Mickey soon returned home. What did you get? The two asked excitedly. Turkey, lobster, sweet potato pie? Beans, announced Mickey. Beans? yelled Donald. Yes, but not ordinary beans, Mickey explained. These are magic beans. Do you know what you get if you plant magic beans by the light of a full moon? Mickey cheerfully asked. Yeah, more beans, Donald answered angrily, knocking them out of Mickey's hands. Poor Mickey. Someone had talked him into trading his cow for three magic beans. What a mean trick. The beans fell to the floor and they rolled into a hole. That night, after bedtime, something strange happened. By the light of the full moon, the beans began to grow. And grow. And grow. Higher and higher, all through the night, they grew into a giant beanstalk. The great stalk lifted the little house up into the sky. The next morning, the farmers awoke miles above the earth. A fantastic new world surrounded them. Hey, fellas, Goofy yelled, pointing. Look over there. They turned to see a giant castle. Who lived there? The curious friends set off to find out. Ouch! yelled Goofy, falling into a big hole. Hey, watch where you're falling, scolded Donald, stepping on Goofy's head. The three explorers did not notice that the hole was really a footprint made by a giant foot. They soon reached the castle. Gosh, it's awful big, said Goofy. It was big, the biggest castle anyone had ever seen. They had climbed on top of the, one another to get up the huge steps. The brave farmers soon reached the massive door. What was inside? What mystery lurked within the dark walls? Uh, anybody home? Mickey asked nervously, knocking on the door. There was no answer. Bravely, they crawled under the door and entered the castle. The castle seemed empty. Mickey, Donald and Goofy gazed around in wonder. Then they saw something amazing. Look, cried Mickey, pointing upwards. Food! And what food! Peas the size of tennis balls, cheese as big as a house, a drumstick larger than 20 chickens. The hungry farmers devoured the tasty treats. Hello, called a familiar voice. Is anyone there? The sound came from a locked box. It's the magic harp, Mickey said, looking inside. How did you get here? I was kidnapped by that awful giant, replied the harp. Giant? Oh, yes, it was true. The three friends were in a home of the giant named Willie. 
He was a magical giant who could change his shape into anything he wanted. Mighty footsteps boomed through the castle. The giant was coming. Fee, fi, fo, fum, bellowed the giant. I smell... Oh no, did he smell Mickey, Goofy or Donald? I smell pot roast, the giant roared. Chocolate pot roast with green gravy. Yum. The hungry giant ate. He did not see the frightened farmers hiding on his table. The giant made himself a sandwich. Two slices of bread, cut a chunk of cheese, put in some meat, added pepper and... Huh? Huh? A chew! Mickey popped out of the sandwich. Ha ha ha! Gesundheit! laughed Mickey nervously. But Willie wasn't laughing. Mickey had to think fast, so he came up with a plan to trick the giant. Is it true you're magical and can change yourself into anything? asked Mickey. Sure, Willie replied. You want to see? Name something, anything. Okay, Mickey answered. A house fly. Mickey, Goofy and Donald found a fly swatter. They planned to swat Willie when he turned into a fly. But Willie didn't turn into a house fly. He turned into a big pink bunny with long ears. Hey, you tried to trick me. The angry giant realised. Willie changed back into a giant. He caught the three tricksters in his hand. As the giant dropped them into the box with the harp, Mickey escaped. Willie locked the box and he put the key in his pocket. I have to save the others, Mickey said. But how? Luckily, the magic harp knew what to do. She sang a soft, sweet lullaby and slowly, gently, Willie began to nod off. Oh boy, Mickey soon whispered. He's asleep. Quietly, Mickey climbed down to the sleeping giant. He was going to get the key and unlock the prisoners. But the giant's pocket was full of dust. It tickled Mickey's nose and it made him sneeze. Ah, ah, achoo! Hey, what was that? Willie wondered, waking up. But Mickey was fast, quick as a flash. He climbed up and away with the key and Willie never noticed. He went back to sleep. You did it, Donald cheered happily as Mickey unlocked the box. Let's get out of here before the giant wakes up, Mickey cried. So Donald and Goofy picked up the harp and headed for the door. Wait a minute, Mickey said. I've got an idea. He wanted to make doubly sure that the giant would not follow them. So he started to tie Willie's shoelaces together. But the plan backfired. Willie woke up. Come back here, the giant shouted furiously, chasing after them. Donald and Goofy were already hurrying down the beanstalk with the magic harp. Mickey followed, flying on a popped cork. You can't get away from Willie, bellowed the mad monster. He rushed down the beanstalk after Mickey. Meanwhile, Donald and Goofy had reached the bottom. They quickly found a big saw. Working together, the speedy pair soon cut the beanstalk down. Uh-oh, said Willie nervously. He was helpless. Down he tumbled, over and over, down and down he fell, and fell to another place far, far away. The magic harp returned to Happy Valley. The valley once again became beautiful and green. It echoed with song and laughter, peace and prosperity reigned. Mickey, Donald and Goofy were joyful. Their crops grew again. They were no longer poor and hungry. Everyone in Happy Valley lived happily ever after.